Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Immersion RP. We're jumping in today with the Blaine County Sheriff Department. We were in the middle of an arson investigation at the time of recording this. And apparently like when I record this video, the audio was cut out of it for some weird reason. And OBS Streamlabs reset my audio. So this is going to be a re-recording of me talking over the current audio. So... I'm getting back out here on patrol, and we're going to see what we can get into as we head back into Sandy Shores. So, I want to thank you guys for helping me get up to 200 subscribers. It's been, it's been somewhat of a hard struggle. And I just do this as a small town, as a, as a hobby. Just looking to make videos when I can, when I can. And everything, but a few things just to go over as we're heading down Panorama Drive here. I'm looking to start maybe doing like a tutorial on how to either start your own YouTube channel if you're looking to maybe get into just doing something with your spare time or learning how to, um, Or learning how to set up your OBS Streamlabs. So I'll do an updated tutorial on that. Of everything that I have updated recently. But. Further ado. We're. Going to be uh, going down this way. In my caprice, watching for a speeder, and with his pedal to the floor. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful um, Wednesday night. Now at the time of recording this, when I first posted it, had no, like, context of what was going on. But now this will be the edited version where I'm watching the playback of everything that's happening. Let's go and pull over here. We're gonna head over to 116. Three Charlie 193, I'll be in route to Lace now one call. All right, we're gonna head over to this last now. One call, see what what's happening here. All right, we're just gonna head over there, code two. So at this point, like because of this is a record from last night, um, everything that happens is that we get into a ten eighty. It's actually a nice pursuit. So I'm gonna just try to remember everything that I said last night. Or the night before when I record this, but some of the audio might not line up to my original audio that I had planned. So just bear with me when you guys watch this uh, recording. Sir, sir, don't be stupid. 
Just comply with him, all right? We don't want any trouble with you. Three Charlie one ninety three. I'll be on scene at one sixteen. This guy literally, cops try and talk to him, and he orders food. But like, legit, man, who does that when he's being spoke to by the cops? But that guy is funny, and then get uh, he's like that officer's like, go, go, go. I put the car in the gear. We let's go get him. Just gonna get that zip up put on there. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, oh, oh! There he is. There he is. Let's go ahead and get him. Yeah, flip around here. Man jumped out of the vehicles. It's so hard now. Went down Main Street. All right. Honestly, I love this Caprice, man. Nice. Let's go ahead and get... Try to follow this uh, park ranger here. Ooh, game's freezing up. I do apologize for that, guys. Woo! Well, through the O'Neill Farms. Oh, the Caprice did not like that turn. Left, 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 left. There we go. So, I would do, so I would take uh, secondary with call outs, but I don't have a keybind set to my remote. And you're going to see that later. Um, in this pursuit, I don't even have a keybind set for it. So I have to pull off, let someone else take secondary while we finish off uh, shots. Huh. Is this guy throwing snowballs, ice cream, cocaine? Like, what is he tossing at the vehicle? Oh, Alright. Like, this Caprice is actually nice. It's, my, it's actually one of the vehicles I'm going to use a lot in future episodes. Woo! He almost flipped that truck, man. Holy shit. I feel like the audio is just a little bit quiet. Let's go ahead and turn that up. He's pulling off because something, I don't know what happened there, but he pulls off. I'm trying to get caught. I'm secondary at this point. I'm concentrating on driving. I can't do call outs. So they're like, hey, you and the Caprice, can you uh, take call outs? I pulled off so then the next person can do the call outs. I'm like, I don't have the keybind. So I pulled over, let the. And do it. And I got behind this Dodge Charger. We flipped a U turn. Going back on the dirt road. At this point, I'm like, um, do I want to go straight and then go straight? I'm like, nah, I'll just be careful with the Caprice. And do it this way, even though in a pursuit, you would actually go down to the end of the road and you loop back on Marina. But we're all like just trying to get this guy. He's sorry, Shad Police. We come around, we're like, oh, he, he's like, they pin themselves in. We come around here. White Fable's a driver. I'm trying to turn off my siren, get out of my car. All right, let's go get him. Usually what, all right, so you might know something different about my loadout this time around. Is that my loadout is um, actually... I switched out the carbine rifle for the M16 rifle because I think it's a better rifle anyway. Alright, alright. I think me and him are trying to figure out we hear the shot so we run over. He gets into my crotch so I put the taser down because I don't want to accidentally tase the officer. 
So I put mine down, and then we turn around since they got that under control. We go back around. And me and him are trying to investigate the vehicle. Alright, I asked him, hey, is the vehicle clear? Okay. And at this point, I'm talking in game, but OBS Studios did not pick up my mic. So, this is me recording over the audio. Alright. I said at this point, he's like, let's. Man. He's. I'm sitting here for just a second. And then I, I told this guy, hey. I told him, hey, why don't we check inside the tires, see if they snatched anything inside the tires. And this guy's like, oh yeah, it's a really good idea. And I was trying, I wanted to open up the back of the trunk. So I get into this deputy's car, and I moved it back. I was trying to be careful not to ding up the car even more than it was, so I just scooted it back. He's probably wondering what I was doing. So, I'm trying to open the trunk here. I'm like, yeah, that was a nice little pursuit. It's my first one in a while. Yeah, yeah, there is. Going as see if we can search this vehicle to see what we can find. Maybe check the tire, see if there's anything in it. At this point, like most of the time, you have to check the uh, tires, make sure because when some people run drugs, I've seen this. I've seen it in like other RP scenarios where they'll stash drugs inside the vehicle tires. No law enforcement officer that I've come across checks it. So I wanted to switch it up and be the guy who's like, you know what, let's go ahead and pop off this rim and tire and see if there's anything but either poking out the tire or inside the tire. So we're sitting here for a minute where I'm trying to open up the back of this car. Trunk refuses to open, so it's like, okay, what's the point of this? So I gave up. So we're like waiting here for a minute. Alright, so what I'm going to do at this point, because this whole part is irrelevant, we're going to skip forward. He accidentally punches me. Uh, Tyler comes over. Tyler comes over after I get myself reset up with my vest and everything. I accidentally punch this guy. Have issues with He's like, I have an issue with tow. I didn't know he was talking to me. I was just trying to fix my outfit. I told him we're still trying to search it and whatnot. This is Tyler right here. I'm like, yeah, we're just trying to search it. Yeah, I told him, yeah, we're still trying to search the vehicle, see if we can find anything. And then, um, he's like, I'll leave this in your cable of hands, as he says right there. So, it's nice to be recognizable. Like, I haven't been on in a while, but we're going to start producing more episodes of this. But I do want to point out that, so this last week of, the last week of September, alright, I'm going to be sh uh, switching places, so I'm probably not going to be recording that whole week, between um, September 25th through the 29th, but I should hopefully be back to recording, hopefully the first week of October. So there's going to be that split in the weeks leading up 
to moving places and things. And then we should be back, full immersion RP, switching from immersion in to DOJ RP. So I hope I can bring episodes to you guys soon on that front. So we might fast forward in time. Just a little bit through, like, all this is a pre-recording. So I'm going to just skip through so then the episode is shorter than what it initially is right now on the channel. Because all this is just boring. We're checking the vehicle. We're not getting anything. This guy gets in his car. He leaves. So at this point, I think I'm like, okay, let's just go ahead and get the vehicle towed because they're not responding. But... Alright, we're going to just skip forward again. And I'm like, can you tow a rise for this vehicle? I'm not going to call it over radio because I don't want to clog radio traffic. So we're just going to RP out that I called County Tow with my phone. The phone script is a bit glitchy, but they're working on a fix for it right now. I don't know if they actually fixed it. But as you see, like all this has already been recorded. So I'm just recording over it to get my audio inserted. So I'm like, oh, this deputy left his truck here. So I'm going to try to get rid of it. And this is the funny part, though, right here. I tried DB's truck after I saw it was locked. So then I went back to my car. I get back in my car. I back up. Oh, okay. I stay here for just a second. Three truck one nine three. I'm still on scene here at two nine four. Cobb, could you just uh, kind of tell my uh, ram in the back, back of the station? Three truck one nine three. I would, but your vehicle is currently locked. I've already tried to county tow. I know my audio is a little bit behind with the recording, but I do will do apologize for that. And at this point, he was walking over. And as K and M, he's a uh, corporal. He's an awesome guy. I enjoy working with him. And at this point, like, I, um, we're like, okay, let's go ahead and swap. We. Get, Drugs are like, oh yeah, Panto has two large boxes taped off inside. The boxes are full of baggies and drugs, different colors and types. So, it can mean any type of drug. Like from, okay, cocaine to marijuana. So, I'm just like, okay, let me just grab this out of the truck. Hey, I'm like, hey, where do you want this uh, thing? I asked him, hey... Where do you want this box of drugs? He's like, uh, go ahead and put that in the room. I'm, I'm in, and I walk in the station. I'm like, where the fuck's the evidence room? Because I don't know this station that well, even though I should know it. But we just went with it. And then these guys are in here. This, this man has me naked, bro. Like, bro, no one needs to know that. At this point, I'm like, where the heck is the evidence room? And then he just starts tackling everybody, including myself. It's like, dude, come on. I would. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to get to the evidence room. God almighty. At this point, I just gave up trying to find the evidence room, so I just logged in the evidence. Like, bro.
And we're just running around in here trying to find the evidence room, but I don't think we have one in the station, but I'll update you guys on in the next episode if I uh, find it. But, yeah. So, just be on the lookout, guys, for more episodes of Immersion RP and uh, more episodes of American Truck Simulator. I'm going to try to get that episode of going into Oklahoma um, recorded. Hopefully, I can do that maybe um, today. Well, day of this uh, update recording, it is August 10th, 2023. So, I should be able to have that episode out by the late evening hours or I'll do it during the weekend but that episode will be coming very very soon and I just walked in to listen to what that guy says I'm like, dude, dude, don't do anything fucking stupid. Just don't do it. And then this guy gets out of his baton and he gets sent to prison. It's like, dude. I'm like, God, I was already taste his ass for the second time. And then these, I'm like, you two are goofballs. Supervisors, am I right? I said that walking out. I'm like, supervisors, am I right? Uh, let's go ahead and get back out here on patrol then. This is going to be the whole highlight of the video coming right up. I, and at this point, I'm like, okay, let's just see who's in the server. Three Charlie one ninety three. Show me back ten eight. As I like, huh. As at this point, I'm like, do I want to stick with the Caprice or do I want to switch cruisers? So I decided to hop into that uh, Ramus right there. I think that's a 2017, but I honestly just called it a 2012, because that's what it reminds me of, is a 2012 uh, Ram. So then I decided, okay, let's just go and swap vehicles. Wait, oh, that's nice. Just starts pouring rain out of nowhere. So, just real quick before the fight part happens. So, the everything that I'm using, okay, I'm using Quam V for, like, the skybox and for my, for just the sky. But the graphics that I'm using is actually a beta from a good friend of mine who does a mix of graphics mods put together. So, that's on that, so... Grab the gas pump. I, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! All I did was grab the gas pump and I went bang! Holy shit! On a stick, man! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I was trying to debate, do I want to go ahead and do I do this, or do I not? He rolls over after seeing the explosion. I'm like, oh, I'm just, oh my god. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh. Holy fuck, G. 
Sheepington in charge. Are you okay? Hear me? I'm like, no, man. No, man. I mean, they antagonize the pain. Holy shit. Help me out here. Jesus Christ. All right, let me check. Oh, my God. <laughs> you mean, this gets even funnier right here. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I was just in pure shock, so doing like pure shock and trouble. I should have been dead right here. Sometimes you can slip in and out of that unrealistic immersion just for a little bit. But then I RP that I passed I passed out slash me passed out. <laughs> this next part is actually really, really funny. If you guys watched the pre-recording, it had no audio, but it's, it's ten times funnier when you have the audio. So, hopefully this works, that you get, we get everything in this episode. He's like, fuck it, let's just take him, take him to the medical center. So then this is his supervisor, right? This is Hunter, right here. He grabs me, he's like, uh, you're gonna have to hit your game muscle to revive. He's underneath my track. You can't put a dead person in the vehicle, so I had to revive. I just say at this point, I ain't. And then, he's like, BANG! <laughs> he's like, we're not gonna talk about this. <laughs> we wanna talk about it. At this point in time, I'm in Discord, we would not talk about what I've done. 297. <laughs> I'm like, at this point, I'm burned to a crisp. I'm done. I'm, I'm dead. Me, bro. Oh my god. Holy, Holy shit. <laughs> so he grabs the other officer. I'm technically dead. At this point, I'm dead. Two explosions. Your body is blown to bits. My body's gonna be over on that wall, all over the pumps, all over the damn truck. And the truck is just covered in my blood. I was gonna say, it smells like. Um, bacon. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they are already in Oh my god. I know you guys will get a kicker out of this. Hence the title Death Blown Up by a Gas Pump. They're like, oh yeah, we turned around, we found a fire. Oh my god. He's like, oh, this guy just had some burns. I'm like, crisp. I totally spelled that wrong. He's like, oh yeah, this guy's DOA. Yeah, he's So I waited around for a minute and they just counted me. And this part is just funny and then what I'm gonna do for just for the short the shorten the video. I end up going back to N8. I'm just laying here for like a minute. Alright, so Arbor truck rolls in. At this point, a uh, wolf girl goes live. So if you guys watched that live stream of hers last night, I was gonna get back home, but I had some things to take care of. So this is all um, just including parts of my audio that I s remember. So they pull out, they county me. I get back on patrol. We do one last traffic stop, which we're gonna fast forward to that. Alright. 
And then let's just carry ourselves. And then I do apologize for your TX admin thing. I don't have that. It's a keybind from an old server that I was part of. Some shit happened. I'm not going to go into details about it because it's irrelevant to this point in time. So if you guys see that pop up, it's because that old keybind is set to my F6 key and I can't correct it. I'm like, we will not talk about what happened there on 297. Even though that was funny, he tried to rescue me, and then he went bang. I'm like, oh my god. But I love this hospital, though. Yeah, we do have some tiers from um, DOJ in server, but you can literally go out, you can buy these interiors. So technically speaking, anybody can have these interiors. But you have to be careful about what um, interiors that you add in just because it can cause issues and can conflict with this version of Sandy PD. So you just got to be really careful about what you add in and when you add it in. Oh, I just went back with the RAM after that. Three Charlie 193, I'll be back 10 8. And at this point, I'm still laughing really hard about what happened there at the gas station. So we just go back 10 8. It's becoming dawn. After all that shenanigan. It happened. But I do plan on updating my siren, guys. So probably in the next episode, I'm uh, thinking about doing a completely new siren. I like the Rumbler Sapphire, um, the Wheel and Sapphire Rumbler siren. But I think I'm going to swap it out for a... For like, maybe like another like Sheriff Siren and take a break from the Rumbler. I love rumblers, I do, but it kind of gets tired after a while hearing the same siren over and over again. So at this point, we're just driving up. Up this way. Gonna go and fill up again. We're like, please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Because now it's like after you blow up, it's like, do I trust this? Do I not trust it? It's like, bro, come on, man. Hooey. We're just gonna fill up here. It's starting to become daylight, which is a beautiful morning. And Sandy Shores, if you ask me. Like, shit, man. But, um... Some things that will be coming really soon, I know the devs have a lot planned, is that we're, I think they were talking about getting new inventory scripted to where, instead of us having the weapons wheel, our weapons and everything are in our inventory, so like, we'll be able to give cash, um, give cash, use ATMs, everything they kind of can do like in, in like some of the other servers, I'm not, I'm not going to lift off those names, but... That would be a really good idea. At this point, I'm like, hey, I want to go to that bush fire. Honestly. But pretty soon I'll be back to do, doing my beat sweep. That I usually do like, um, Route 68. Um, so, Joshua to Panorama to Route 68. 
Calafia all the way around. I might start doing that beach sleep again. Alright, at this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward. So we're. I'll just fast forward to right here. So it's kind of like a mix of editing, but it's not really. I'm just skipping through some footage because it's kind of like. Do you really want to see every second of a patrol or do you just want to see the exciting things? Charlie 193, I can route myself that way since I'm uh, right off of Panorama Drive. At this point, when I was saying that, Cora, I'm like, oh my god, this ram is gonna flip. Like, it's a little top heavy.